tuck your toes and push yourself up and then come into a plank position and then into your down dog position so you're going to press the floor away from you push your heels and let's just walk the dog so let's pedal through the feet warming up the ankles and the calves okay and the back of the legs i like quite like to just pick my foot up breathe in press both heels down soften the knees and work into those hamstrings trying to really press the chest towards your knees or your thighs go on push 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 breathe in one more breath now let's step your right foot forwards to the outside of your right hand so pick it up and step big step drag it forwards if you need to now from here let's just press into this front foot feeling a nice stretch through the back leg as well as this front glute here hold it now if this is too much to stay here you can drop the back knee we're just going to hold this stretch give it a chance work on the ankle and the mobility through that lower body now from here let's drop the back knee this is called the awkward lizard so if you want to become even more awkward with me you're going to bring yourself down onto your left forearm so i'm going to show you from this angle you're here, you're gonna come down onto your left forearm and you're gonna grab hold of your shin or your ankle. Now, if that's too much, you just stay here, okay? So if you've got that flexibility, come down onto the left forearm, grab that right ankle, and then pick up the right elbow and see if you can reach up. Now, see if you can reach back, bend that back, foot, back knee, and see if you can reach the, for that foot and pull. Now, if you're not there, you can do it here. And if you can't reach it, just reach towards it. Okay, you might want to bring a, um, a cushion under that back knee if your knee is a problem. Good, one more breath. Now let's reverse this, let go of the foot, bring your arm up. Bring it back down, come onto both hands if you're down on your forearm, untuck or retuck, sorry, lift the back knee and let's step back into down dog again and just press away. Try sort of gently tilting the hips from side to side. This also feels quite nice through the waist. And then what we need to do is to repeat that on the other side. So let's step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, big step, okay? Go for it with that step. Really long distance between the front foot and the back foot. And just hold it here, really press into this front foot. Breathing in and out. Remember your option is to bring the knee down straight away. Push out that front knee with the arm, keep it wide. Now drop down. Untuck the toe. Your option to come down onto that right forearm and grab the ankle, the left ankle, and then lift up the left arm. And you always have a tighter side, and this is mine. <clears throat> okay, and then try and bend the back knee and reach back. Now I can't quite get there, so I'm gonna reach back and grab it and look up, and then you could always come back down if you've got the flexibility. Or you can stay here and work on that back thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's release, reverse it back. Tuck the back toe, lift off and step back again. And here we are, back in down dog. Now let's